Now, there are a lot of misconceptions when it comes to the notion of feminism. What it really means is an ideology. Does it mean that men should be oppressed? Does it mean that women should be too powerful? All of these misconceptions have led this ideology to be extremely controversial. So in this video today, we will look at what feminism really means, but also looking at the different components of feminism. So let's get started. Now, the first and most important thing to understand when it comes to feminism is that it's an ideology that all genders, not just women or men, must have equal rights and opportunities. In other words, feminists campaign for the idea of equal rights and opportunities for both men and women. Now, the different components on feminism beliefs, and we'll begin by looking at how they see the notion of sex when it comes to biological differences versus gender as a social construct. Now, the first element when it comes to feminism is that they are of the belief that when it comes to your sex that you're born in, this is a biological difference. If you're born as a woman, you are biologically different to a man. And this can't be an idea that's created by a random person. However, what feminism say is that the notion of sex being a biological difference is mixed up and conflated with gender. In other words, feminists believe that gender is a social construct. This refers to the different roles that society has given men and women. And historically, the gender roles given to women are basically those of being subservient and serving men. And also, gender roles have essentially taken power away from women. So that's the first distinction that's really important when understanding this ideology. Now, the other aspect of feminism is to do with patriarchy. Now, firstly, patriarchy just simply means a system where men can have power in all areas. In other words, a society which gives power to men. And long time ago, it was only men that, for instance, could vote and have property. And in, for instance, Victorian England, women were actually classified as the property of men. They were the property of their fathers. And when they get, got married, they would become the properties of their husbands. This is a patriarchal structure that took power away from women. Now, feminists believe that the way society, the state and economy is still currently structured is to oppress women and to take power away from them. And they advocate for this to be shifted in order to balance the power towards women. It's not to give women all the power, it's to rebalance power equally between women and men. Now, when it comes to the notion of power and dominance, Feminists believe that essentially all relationships in society, especially a patriarchal society, but also private relationships between men and women are based on power and dominance. And of course, this needs to change. However, the only way this can change is also when the dominant patriarchal standards and the dominant patriarchal society also changes. Now, there are equality feminists versus difference feminists. Now, equality feminists seek equality for both men and women in society. However, difference feminists argue that men and women have fundamentally different natures from each other. Therefore, especially going back to the idea of sex as a biological difference, there's some jobs and roles that women simply can't do. Now, the final element of feminism that is worth understanding is the notion of intersectionality. What this means is that black, Asian, working class women's experiences of patriarchy and oppression in the state, society and the economy are very different from white middle class women and oppression is not equal. So whilst women are oppressed, they are all also oppressed to varying degrees. White middle class and upper class women are perhaps uh, they face less challenges in a patriarchal state, even if they're still quite challenged, to black Asian women and also, of course, working class women. Their experiences are different. And of course, when we are campaigning for equality of all genders and especially equality of women, we should also know that there's difference equality that also needs to uh, be at play when it comes to understanding the experiences of minority groups and working class groups. So oppression, whilst all women are oppressed, oppression is still not equal as also black, Asian and ethnic minorities as well as poorer women are far more oppressed than their white working class and upper class peers. 
So that's all. If you found this video useful, we'd really appreciate it if you gave it a big thumbs up, but also make sure you visit our website, www.firststreetteachers.com, that you will find lots of useful revision materials to help you when studying this and indeed other ideologies for your exams and your coursework. Thank you so much for listening.